Turns into authentic. About a month ago, I was able to visit uh, elders in, in uh, Two Hills Center there. And I would visit them probably once a month, uh, bring them traditional food, dry meat, and had blueberries, wild blueberries. And now I can't. So to, today we are faced with a virus that is new and unknown. We all have to deal with this new reality in our schools and in our visits with our elders. Our schools are closed and physical distancing has started. Parents are facing challenges having their kids home at, school, at home all day. Teachers are challenged with providing students with continued instruction from a distance. And it's a challenge as many of our families do not have internet access or computers, a challenge as many of our families face difficulty accessing food. I am grateful for the way the council has stepped up to provide the support to our program administrators and frontline workers. I am grateful for how the program directors have come together to work at ensuring that Saddle Lake has a plan for dealing with this new virus. I'm grateful for all the staff who continue to provide essential services, social workers, child care workers, health workers, medical taxis, water truck drivers, public works, and all the other people that are doing these services to help uh, with our people, even the people for, that work at Bison, providing the clerks that are working there. At the present time, we do not have a case of COVID-19 in our reserve. As we enter the fourth week of social isolation, I'm sure many of you are worried and have many questions. We will have a new and updated information package delivered promptly. You may worry about finishing school, getting groceries, visiting your family and loved ones, and yet we must continue to practice physical distancing if we want to defeat this virus. And this may cause, this is difficult for a lot of us because our culture places a strong value on wahutu and on family, on wichi tasu and helping each other, especially in times of hardship. We are used to coming together to share food, visit in time of sadness and celebration. Yet to this, to defeat this virus, we must physically isolate. We must not shake hands, kiss our elders, or visit one another. To protect our most vulnerable, our elders, those who, have, those who are on dialysis, who have heart conditions, we must keep our distance and find new ways of maintaining our relationships. I want to acknowledge the doctors and medical staff here in Saddle Lake, along with the council who recognized the need to act quickly to close the school. And this was done even before the province did it. Hmm? And setting up a task force. I want to acknowledge the task force for working long hours to come up with, with their plan. We know that many of our people live in crowded conditions due to housing shortages and poverty. We know that many of our people suffer from di diabetes, arthritis, heart disease, or asthma. And it's not just the elderly that suffer from these, these conditions. We know that if this virus enters our community, our medical staff could quickly be overwhelmed. And that is why the task force initiated the restricted and monitor travel into our reserve. These new social distancing measures are not just occurring on our reserve, but are, through, are occurring throughout the province, the country, and the world. It is creating hardships and uncertainty about when do we go back to work, to school, to the next powwow, to a, to a vacation. We cannot vi visit our relations in the hospital or our elderly in the in the care facilities. This is a time to turn to our spiritual practices. Although we, not, we are not able to gather in large gatherings, 
we can still practice and pray within our homes. During this time, leadership is actively working on funding not only for much needed monies for the COVID-19 pandemic, but also funding for more housing, better internet service, treatment programs for addictions, and care facilities for elders. Let us stay safe, let, let us be together in our resolve to defeat this virus, but apart from physical distancing. Stay safe. Thank you.